all, this is Orchid here again. Um, I just wanted to take some time out for my studying to give you an update as to what I'm doing. Um, I have braids and I did these all by myself and I'm so proud of myself for doing this. Let me show you. These are Marley braids, which I, I got tired doing my hair. I think everybody comes across, comes to that point in their you know journey where they just get tired of doing the hair, manipulating their hair constantly. And I was ill about two or three months ago and I think the follow to that is that my hair and hairline seems to be dropping out and it's very depressing. So I just said I don't want to see my hair anymore but I don't want to cause any more damage to my hairline. So I decided to do my own hair. So what I did, um, everybody, I, a lot of people I've seen now are doing Senegalese twists, but I know my hair is quite kinky. And I hate the look, especially after about two or three weeks where your hair just gets fuzzy and decides to sh you know, present itself in the braid. So what I did, I just used Marley braid instead of normal straight Kanekalon. So this is my hair, it's quite long as you can see and this is actually five parts of hair this is a lot more than I intended but oh wow um, it took a week to do only because I was so busy and I ran out of hair after the second day so I, I walked around with my hair in one luckily what I did I did the outside first and then the inside so I was able to walk around with my hair in one until I was able to get one last pack of hair. I used two different types of hair. I used the Free Trust Eco brand of Marley Braids in my hair. And I also used the Janet brand. They both have their strengths and their weaknesses. The Janet braid, which I use at the bottom, is a tad bit longer than the Eco Free Trust, unfortunately. So if you look from the back, you'll see there's one just, just a about inch or two too long the good thing is it's very soft it's actually softer than your free dress however it unravels all the time which is quite annoying yeah so this is about four weeks now um it's a bit fuzzy in front but i did it all myself so i'm actually quite happy about that i did over a few in the front for my conference but it has been fuzzing up a bit because my scalp has been itching me a little bit more than usual. Not too sure if it's the actual braid or uh, I, I'm not sure. Um, in the interim, I've been using this um, African Pride Olive Miracle Abrasion Spray, and it does what it says it does. It's, it, it does moisturize my hair, and the the two or the three braids I we did when I touched my hair, my hair was so soft and well moisturized. So I am quite pleased with that. Um, I also use to stop the itching i use my concoction of um grapeseed oil rosemary tea tree oil and some peppermint on my scalp and it works um yeah so i am quite pleased with my hair i'll probably keep it in another three weeks i have an event to go to the beginning of december that is not three weeks that probably a week and a half two weeks but we'll see because i am enjoying not having to do my hair i'll probably put it back in afterwards but there's i i my trip in atlanta which i put them in for i bought a whole bunch of projects and i really really want to try them out so we'll see what happens i also wanted to do a quick update on the maybelline Dr fresh dream fresh bb cream i was in atlanta last week and i was there for a conference you know work PhD work so I didn't want to look too made up so I wore this every day and I must say there was no shine no nothing it was perfect I was so happy I carried this and it like it left my face moisturized it did what it said it was gonna do so definitely my sisters in more temperate areas this is something I'd recommend to you until next time bye bye